Hello and welcome. This is Rafi from Doric. In this video, we are going to learn how to add a custom domain name with our website from GoDaddy. And we have got two places from where we can start connecting a custom domain name on our website. So the first place, let's say if you haven't yet published your website on Doric, now for the first time, you want to publish the site by adding a custom domain name. How you can do this? Simply, you have to click on this publish button. After that, you are going to see this custom domain option. Let's click on this. And here we go. We have got these fields where you have to enter the project title. Then here is the field where you have to enter our domain name that we want to connect with our website. And then we have to point these DNS records from domain control panel. So this was the first place from where we can start connecting our domain name. Now let me show you the second place from where we can connect a domain name with our website. So as you can see, I'm visiting Doric website dashboards where I'm being able to see all the websites that I have already created and published on Doric. So let's say you already published a website under doric.io subdomain. Now you want to change the subdomain to a custom domain. Now simply you have to click on this gear icon. After that, you have to click on custom domain. And here we go. We have got these DNS records, which you have to point from domain control panel. And then we have got this field where we have to enter our domain name. And after that, we have to click on this save change button and the domain name will be connected with our website. Now the process of connecting domain name with our website from both of the places are exactly the same. So I'm going to cross this out from here and I'd love to walk you through the full step-by-step -step process of connecting a custom domain name with our website from here. So on the first field, I'm going to give a project name. So for instance, I'm going to type out Doric domain connection and you have to provide your details obviously. After that here on this field, I have to enter the domain name that I want to connect with this website. So let me take you here on our uh, GoDaddy page. After that, I'm going to click on these three dots. After that, let's click on manage DNS. And from here, I would love to copy the domain name from here as we have to add the domain name into this field. So I've just copied and here I'm going to paste it here. All right, now it's time to point these records from the domain control panel. So first thing that we have to do, we have to remove any A record type, which is coming along with this at the right host. We have to remove that from the domain control panels, DNS record. So as you can see here, I am seeing an A record with this at the right host. So we have to remove this first. So I'm going to delete this. Let's click on delete. And after that, I'd love to remove any CNAME record, as you can see here, any CNAME record with this www host. So I'm going to remove this one as well. Let's click on remove. Now we have to add these records again by providing our Doric information. So let's go back here. After that, I'm going to click on this add button. After that, we have to choose the type as A and then the host is going to be at the rate. After that, we have to provide the value here, the IP address value. So let's go back to the Doric Builder panel. After that, we are going to copy this value from here. And let's go back to the domain panel. After that, we have to paste the code here. All right, now it's time to click on this add record button right here. And here we go, the A record has been added. Now it's time to add the CNAME record, which is mentioned here. So in this case, we have to go back here. After that, we have to click on this add button. Let's choose the type of CNAME. Then we have to provide the host as it is mentioned here, host is going to be www. So I'm going to type out www. And after that, as you can see here, it is mentioned like your domain. So in this case, we have to add our domain name right here. So let me just copy our domain name from here copy or we can actually type this out as well. So I'm just paste, uh, I have just copied and now it's time to paste it here. Then I'm going to click on this add record. All right, so success, your DNS record has been added successfully. Now we can go back to our Doric builder. After that, it's time to click on this publish site button. And here we go, site published successfully. Now, if we visit this link, it might going to show us an error because to get everything working, to get the DNS record connected with each other or each platform, it might going to take from few minutes to few hours. So let me just visit this website to see if anything happened here. 
Oh, okay, so here we go. Instantly, the domain got connected with our website, but sometime it may it might going to take like few minutes to few hours. So if you are seeing any issue, any error message appearing on this page, please don't get worried. It is going to work perfectly fine if you have followed through what I have shown in this video. So this was the process of how to add a custom domain name on your website from GoDaddy. And I believe you have found this video helpful. If you have got any further question, please feel free to ask by commenting below and visit us at doric.com to find more information. Thank you so much for being with us. Have a good day. Bye bye.